TikTok has taken over the world, skyrocketing to be one of the most downloaded apps with over 2 billion downloads. The short form video platform encourages the creation of 15 seconds to 3 minute videos, which users can interact with by liking, commenting, or sharing. The app has taken off with a primarily Gen Z audience, with over 1 billion active monthly users. Pew Research outlines that nearly a fifth of teens say they are addicted to TikTok and 54% of teenagers say it would be hard to give up social media, highlighting that generally addicted nature of social media platforms. Further research shows that 58% of teens visit TikTok daily, most of them being female. The specially designed algorithm collects a variety of users' data in order to create a specialised For You page in order to encourage their users to continue to use the app. The algorithm encourages its users to scroll continuously by providing videos catered to their individual interests. The short videos help users to escape the reality of time and without realising it, users can become lost in the rabbit hole as they unknowingly become more and more addicted. We went ahead and asked some students from Macquarie University how much time they spent on TikTok per day. And here's what we found. 47 minutes. Oh, it's really bad. It's like seven hours or something. I'll take about three hours, bro. An hour and 52. I don't know, like an hour a day, maybe. I don't know, maybe a couple hours. An hour and 20 minutes. To better understand TikTok's algorithm and how it breeds addiction, we're going to have a look at gambling addiction, something that is very well documented. Australia's population accounts for less than half a percent of the global population. But data from the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare shows that Australia houses 20% of the world's gambling machines. Gambling is an addiction outlined in the DSM. It is recognized and advertised as a major public policy issue that affects the well-being of families and individuals. Dr. Julie Albright has some key insights into the coloration between gambling and TikTok use. And if you think about um, something that's very sort of addictive, something that you want to keep doing again and again, the classic example is the Las Vegas slot machine. Yes. You, know, you, you, you pull the handle, you push the button, ding, 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 ding. You know, yeah, I want, you know, lights are going, ding, 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 ding. That's called, in psych psychological terms, that's called random reinforcement. It means sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And that's how these platforms are designed. And you get that little dopamine hit in the brain and yeah. it's in the pleasure center of the brain. So you want to keep scrolling and then you see something that's eh, kind of boring, eh, not too interesting. I've seen that. And then, oh, yeah, there's that hit again. And, and that's random reinforcement, just like the slot machine. Mm -hmm. We don't often talk about how our devices and these platforms uh, and these apps and all do have these same addictive qualities baked into them. So as Dr. Albright has just outlined for us, there is a psychological correlation between the addictive nature of a well-known issue like gambling and social media usage. If a user is to scroll through TikTok for about an hour, they would consume approximately 240 videos. These videos would provide random reinforcement, the psychological term Dr. Albright used to describe the winning and losing response in the brain. Some videos would be seen as a win and the user might find it funny or useful, while the others may be seen as a loss as they wouldn't align with the user's personal interests, which would result in addiction. This has been seen in the 70% rise in anxiety and depression in young people, which are both factors which are shown to align with addiction as shown through the psychological understanding of gambling. Now what can we do to ensure we aren't impacted by the potential consequences of addiction? It's really just up to us to be aware of our intake of TikTok and this is what our, the main purpose was, to encapsulate the problem of addiction to TikTok and inform you of its consequences. Further education on this matter could be achieved through the government's publishing resources such as TV, ads, etc. Educating as many citizens as possible about this issue. Addiction is a problem, but we can overcome that through awareness. Happy TikToking!